Internet. What's up, Internet? Happy Friday to you, everybody out there drinking some coffee, getting ready for the day. Time to do some audio recording yesterday's video. Well, as you can see, the fish room is continuing. Uh, the construction is ongoing, and whilst uh, fitting in other projects that have nothing to do with any YouTube channels. I am uh, back again working on uh, the getting the fish room finished and uh, doing this, um, this little bit of a piecemeal kind of uh, drywall on the exterior and then uh, we're beginning to mud and tape the room uh, which is going to be important for the final project um, to be finalized. Um, we're at mud and tape central right now on the inside um, and then we'll be texturing and primering and painting and uh, doing the trim and putting in the door and blah 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 but we're really getting to the point where we're on the downhill stroke here uh, we're getting to the point where this is starting to get to a doneness um, point um, the other thing I'll need to do is finish up the uh, um, the insulation on the roof or the ceiling whatever you want to call it the uh insulation for the ceiling and then um uh finishing up the storage area up there and uh, i also have to vent the fan i have a uh, a pretty simple um air removal situation uh, i wired in a big uh, uh bathroom fan that i actually had uh, I had it from some other project, and uh, if those of you that have gone out to buy a really big, nice bathroom fan know that those things cost around 200 bucks, and uh, so that's pretty helpful to have one of those. Um, I just uh, had acquired it from some other job and uh, that we didn't need it on, and, and uh, just was extra parts, whatever, um, which a lot of uh, that has gone into this is uh, new material that my lovely partner, and I have been uh, pretty much sourcing at the Home Depot. So to uh, Angus and, and Bubba, yeah, if you do hang out at the Home Depot in Tacoma, you probably will see me at some point in time. Um, I don't know that they're my favorite hardware store, but that's the one I go to. Um, I, it's sort of like it's what I know. I know that Home Depot has this, that, and the other thing. Uh, they're online. It's pretty cool. Um, so it's pretty easy to check, like if stuff's at a store, I don't have to like drive over there and, and then them go like, no, we don't have that. You got to order it. So, um, and I'm sure I'm a hundred percent sure that Lowe's does that too. Uh, McClendon's is pretty dope. Ace hardware, whatever. Um, it just, we just happen to go to home Depot. It's, it seems to get the best prices and stuff by the end of the day. And a lot of the materials is exactly the same. It's not like they make really anything, um, these days, you know, no, nobody, in America is really producing anything um, so they're pretty much just reselling so wherever you get the best price is kind of the the most important thing but uh, as you can see in the video here Vicky has been uh, gracious enough to help out with doing some of the mudding um, as I um, while away trying to um, uh, do all this kind of stuff one-handed you can kind of <laughs> You can see me trying to hang board one-handed is uh, a little bit wacky. Um, a lot of the stuff that I have to do, um, I'm just going along doing most everything right-handed uh, all the time, and I kind of end up getting into weird situations where <laughs> I gotta make some uh, make some goofy maneuvers in order to uh, be dealing with the fact that my thumb feels like it's going to fall off. Um, but honestly, you know, my thumb situation isn't that big of a deal. Uh, it will heal. It will get better. It will um, hopefully not fall off from gangrene or anything like that. Uh, I was just in a conversation with Jay Wilson in regards to that uh, great health care um, uh we great healthcare here, great doctors, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going in every week. Well, they have me coming in uh, every couple of days, um, and then now I'm coming in once a week to get them to look at it and see what's going on and uh, give me the lowdown and make sure that uh, my arm's not going to rot and fall off. Um, so it is moving along. I will say that the only time that it really does hurt is when I'm changing the dressing. Um, it has a tendency to get dried up. And uh, I have to soak it in a saline hydrogen peroxide bath. So if you remember at some point in time when you were a kid and your mom would uh, make you 
you know, soak your knees or elbows or whatever in a hydrogen peroxide bath. It's like that, except the giant nerve cluster is uh, exposed in my thumb. So it feels uh, absolutely fantastic and takes about an hour to change the dressing, which is just mind bending. Um, how long it takes, I think, is really what what gets me. Uh, somebody was asking me about, um, I guess it was on Facebook. Somebody was asking me about uh, what's going on with that in, in uh, regards to emotional, um, the, you know, because when it happened, I went into shock because I was so pissed off that uh, a lot of the stuff that I'm trying to do wasn't going to be able to get done. Uh, honestly, I think it was more of a PTSD situation in uh, my disappointment and knowing how far I was going to be behind on the projects that I need to do. Um, so that's been the, the ongoing psychological problem. But, uh, other than that, it just hurts and it doesn't really like, it's not really bothering me all that much. I'm able to move through and do a lot of the stuff. I just have to do things all super wacky. Uh, you can see me mudding here. I, I'm not even carrying any mud with me. It's, it's just weird. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm doing that is just weird. Um, but it's not typical for the way that I do things. Um, but other than that, you know, we got a new lawnmower yesterday, and uh, the lawnmower vibrates the hell out of my left hand. So I mowed the lawn one, one-handed one uh, with just my right hand pushing the mower around, and it worked out fantastic. It looks great. People love it. Um, speaking of uh, why I mowed the, mowed the grass, we're going to have a, a big barbecue here tomorrow. Um, some people know that uh, tomorrow is my birthday. And we're doing the housewarming and birthday party at the same time. So we had to get the lawn mowed and made sure that everything looks looks delicious for the delicious uh, peeps that are coming up for that, which will be a lot of fun, which means I probably won't be doing any kind of video on Saturday. So um, though I'll be uh, uh, piecing together some video of uh, what I'm doing today, which uh, I'll be probably uh, venting the fan and doing some more mudding and getting things uh, buttoned up, get the rest of the drywall done in the exterior. And then the exterior of the room here, uh, there will be some plywood sheeting and some hardy backer going in. So I'll show you guys uh, what that's all about. Um, I need some to use some hardy backer where the, um, uh, where the fire fireplace is uh, in order to keep the wall cool. Um, and I'll explain that when we do that part. But that's uh, some of the stuff that's going down. Um, honestly, I'm starting to get really excited at this point um, because of a lot of what this fish room is going to be doing is um, housing a lot of the um, aquaponics stuff that's going to be going on in the outside. Um, it's going to be fantastic to start working on. <clears throat> excuse me. It's going to be fantastic to start working on that stuff that's going to be going on uh, outside and getting the yard all together and getting uh, a lot of our uh, food sourced from our own land here. Uh, the uh, I have a ICB container outside, which those of you that may or may not know what that is, it is essentially a 330-gallon uh, container, which I'll be containing all of the runoff water uh, from the roof and you know the property here, um, and also all of the water change water. And then uh, I'll be cycling water in and out of that in order to operate the aquaponics and whatnot. And then eventually, long term, we'll probably be burying a couple of those for the, uh, we'll probably end up doing a uh, pond feature. So that's going to be something that is coming along. It'll all be tied together um, and show you guys how to do some of this stuff for sure uh, going down the line. You know, I look at it this way. It's like, you know, you realistically, you could you could do something like a hot tub. You could have a hot tub on your property um, that you sit in and it's warm. And um, I just like everybody else out there, I really enjoy a hot tub. Um, but considering how often it realistically gets used for somebody like me, I just I'm not going to take the time to go sit in a hot tub. So it's a the reason I bring up a hot tub is because it's the same amount of kind of, um, you know, dollar amount, labor, uh, fuel, energy, water, plumbing, all that kind of stuff as a hot tub. And yet you're going to be able, this is something that we'll be able to eat off of all year long um, with pretty minimal um, effort put in. Um, but also at the same time, it saves those trips to the uh, grocery store and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we're, and we're able to source a lot of our own food and also, uh, explain some of the long-term goals that we're um, working on for the future, that kind of stuff that's going on, um, that we want to be able to show a lot of Americans that we do have 
um, uh, Americans, uh, the, the British, whatever, you know, the, the first world countries, uh, obviously third world countries have bigger issues, uh, bigger fish to fry uh, right off the bat. But we do have all these resources that just kind of sit around because we spend a lot of our time working in this and that and the other uh, in order to make money to get more resources and whatnot. Um, this is one of the big issues that I feel like, you know, an aquaponic system, a hydroponic system, uh, playing back into the eco, you know, the the ecological system that we all live in, um, is uh, is important to kind of spread in in into the first world people, you know, especially people that live in like suburbia and stuff like that. You have a lot of space and a lot of resource to be able to do this stuff. And uh, I'm sure people have seen catchphrases like grow food, not lawns, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. Uh, we're really into that kind of shit. So we'll be doing a lot of that coming up in the future. Uh, if you do want to support, go to darkstararts.com and click on the Amazon banner. It takes you to Amazon. It just basically leaves a cookie that says we sent you there um, and we get a little bit of the advertising kudos. So go ahead and do that. That's what's going on today on Friday, April 14th, 2017. Later.